Hello, I'm Congressman Adam Smith, and it's my honor to present Senator Margarita Prentice with the 2011 Maggie for Lifetime Achievement. It's a particular honor for me because Senator Prentice and I served together in the Washington State Senate back in the mid-1990s, and I saw firsthand what a great legislator she was and what an incredible passion for justice she had for everybody that she was working for. Margarita Lopez Prentice was the first Latina elected to public office in Washington State. She became a member of the State House of Representatives in 1988 and a state senator in 1992, where she served as chair of the Ways and Means Committee. Margarita Lopez was born in San Bernardino, California, the youngest of five children. Her father was Mexican-born and her Latina mother was born in El Paso. In 1942, her parents moved the family to the Los Angeles area, where Margarita attended Hollywood High. Famous graduates of Hollywood High School include Margarita Prentice, Judy Garland, Mickey Rooney, Ricky Nelson, Tuesday Well, Fay Ray, Lon Chaney, Brandy, Warren Christopher, and Alan Hale, who played the skipper on Gilligan's Island. Margarita moved to Phoenix, where she attended Phoenix College and the St. Joseph's Hospital School of Nursing. In 1954, with her nursing license in hand, Margarita moved to Seattle. Over the next 45 years, she served as an emergency room nurse, director of nursing at Valley Medical Center, and first vice president and labor organizer for the Washington State Nurses Association. In 1958, she married Bill Prentice, and they had four children. As a young nurse and mother, Prentice volunteered for Governor Al Rosalini and helped out on early campaigns of Mike Lowry. Her children drew her into the PTA, then a seat on the written school board. She served as vice chair of the King County Democrats and as a DNC member for many years. Early in her career as a legislator, Senator Prentice sought to protect immigrant farm workers with housing reform, a ban on child labor, pesticide regulations, health care coverage, and raising the minimum wage. A rare defeat for Senator Prentice was her proposal for an arena to keep the supersonics in Seattle and out of Oklahoma. For all you have done for our party and our state, you truly deserve the Maggie Award for Lifetime Achievement.